Okay. Just came down here. I had to wait mm, 10 minutes or so before we were set for breakfast. And now we're going for breakfast. And they got a buffet here at the hotel. Eggs, sausage, potatoes, bacon, quiche, cheese blintzes. Food combo. Looks very good. Fruit here, some granola, salmon, bagels, danishes, muffins, cereals. That looks very nice. Alright, we all went for the buffet. We have so much good stuff. Alright, let's eat. Alright, we are checking out. Of Lake Yellowstone today hotel. We're gonna drive out of Yellowstone and see some sights before we leave, and then Ron to Cody. I'm just walking from the hotel to the general store. Uh, it's right next door. It's right over there. But we've got this little structure, and I wondered what this was for. It looks like. Used to be a gas station because you've got these little holes that used to be where the pumps were, I think. Probably too small to fit the cars in anymore. But they do have a lot of gas stations here in Yellowstone, a lot of bathrooms, and everything's very well appointed if you come out here. Here in the general store, they have a cute little diner the counter and we have a lot of souvenirs we've got a grocery area and they have a lot of camping stuff in here just picks up some souvenirs and we're hitting the road it was about 40 degrees last night so these bison are hanging out by the hot springs all right we jumped to the bottom of uh, Tower Falls we got a general oh, store well. here like people are enjoying uh, the breakfast here and we're gonna head up that trail looks like and these are the tower falls you can see a little creek running up into it Petrified tree. Fenced in. But we saw a sign at the end of the road. Park and walk up a little trail and come look at it. Now we're visiting the Mammoth Hot Springs Terraces. Jupiter Spring. It's all dried up now. Right at the edge here. But we've got a sign here showing you just have colorful pools, etc. These trees absorb so much calcium carbonate that they cannot absorb nutrients anymore. So they're kind of frozen here. This is Minerva Terrace over here, and it still has some water running down. This is called Mound Spring.
All right, that was a hike. We're gonna stop in here for some ice cream. They kind of, they got a hotel down here. Residents live up here, so it's like half part residential area, and the hotel is pretty new. And all the dining room and everything is pretty new for tourists. We're going to the German place in Cody tonight. Again, that great place. So we are kind of doing a light lunch. I got a salad with goat cheese, fried goat cheese. Darren got the house salad. Oh, we're also doing dessert here. So we want to get ice cream. It's so hot. Darren got a half a grilled cheese and a salad. Everything looks real good. I didn't like my salad, but I come from a land of fantastic salads. It's the same thing all over France. Here's our desserts. I got a hot fudge sundae. This is a salted caramel brownie. Near Mammoth Hot Springs is the residences for some of the employees of Zantera, which is the reservation service uh, for all national parks. And so they live over here. That's their church. There's a bunch of their properties. And uh, that's their view. Now we're leaving by the northeast entrance. Different one than we came. Stay in the Chamberlain Inn. Down the street is a much bigger attraction. They got a guy out there doing a Buffalo Bill show. Close off the road for it. Ernest Hemingway stayed here in the hotel. He signed the registry on October 16th, 1932. Stayed in room 18. They've got some cigars here and his book, Farewell to Arms, Under Glass. Here in the sitting room right by the bar. This is my room in the Chamberlain Inn. They have old-fashioned keys. They have some chocolates on the bed. really cute style. I love the little foam here. Gave me a, they gave us each a glass of wine when we checked in, which is so nice. We do have TV, unlike in Yellowstone. And we've got a cute little bathroom in here. Now I'm just going to go down the hall and show you uh, Tara and Darren's room. And this is Tara and Darren's room. They also have chocolates on the bed. Nice little room, but also they have this beautiful living room with a little kitchenette area. They also have a little old fashioned phone, TV, couch, but also balcony. That's where we're parked right over there. And it looks out into the garden here, the Chamberlain Inn. And yeah, Ernest Hemingway stayed here, not in this room. He stayed in room 18. And here's the bathroom. So all in all, very nice. Another feature of the Chamberlain Inn is the sunroom here. Which is nice. Have an old radio in here. And right next door, a library. They've got internet in here, Wi Fi in every room. So I actually really like this hotel my first time here. It's really beautiful. Bar is just over there, and they've got this nice enclosed patio and some outdoor patios to enjoy while you're staying here at the Chamberlain Inn. And I have only seen these light switches in old 1930s movies, but I love it. Okay, so we're heading off to dinner. 
same German place we did before. So I will say good night, probably, for the last video. Until tomorrow.